Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The GTX 35 VS Kaveri is an afterburning turbofan project developed by Gas Turbine Research Establishment GTRE Bengaluru. It is a low bypass twin spool turbofan engine of 80 kN thrust class. Kaveri is a technologically complex power plant. It is two spool bypass turbofan engine having three stages of transonic low pressure compressor driven by a single stage low pressure turbine. The core engine consists of six stage transonic compressor driven by a single stage cooled high pressure turbine. Its three stage transonic fan is designed for good stall margin which can handle an air mass flow of 78 kg and develops a pressure combustion chamber line ratio of 3 is to 4. Cavalry engine has been designed to achieve a fan pressure ratio of 4 is to 1 and overall pressure ratio of 27 is to 1. These pressure parameters are claimed to be good enough to support the super cruise maneuvers of an advanced combat aircraft. The Cabinet Committee on Security has first sanctioned this project in 1989. Till date, nine full prototype engines and four core engines have been built. 3,217 hours of engine testing have been conducted till date, including the altitude test and flying test bed trials. So far, 2,105 crore fund has been allocated for Kaveri engine program. GTRE's Kaveri effort may have failed to yield a usable fighter class low bypass after burning turbo fan engine, but its core is being developed further and it's quite usable and the learnings have been significant. The Kaveri project was later divided into two categories K9 Plus and K10. K9 Plus program is to prove the concept of complete design and gain hands-on experience on aircraft engine integration and flight trials to cover a defined truncated flight envelope prior to the launch of production version of K10 standard engine. The K10 program is going to be a joint venture partnership with a foreign engine manufacturer Safran or Rolls-Royce to develop entirely new engine. The K10 program engine will be final production standard Kaveri engine and will have less weight and more reheat thrust along with certain other changes to meet the original design intent. Now as per the reports, the problems of Kaveri engine have been solved and only high altitude tests are remaining. One of the major issues with Kaveri engine was the flutter of fan blades. Flutter was related to all the blades used in the engine. Various methods have been deployed to successfully resolve the flutter issue. Other issues with Kaveri engine were related to fan, HP compressor, LP turbine, combustor, afterburner and screech issue has also been resolved. But one of the major challenge with the engine development is high attitude test facility and flying test bed, environmental test facilities and full scale model test facilities. At present, DIDO does not have a facility for simulation of an engine that will work at 40,000 or 50,000 feet above the ground. The engine had undergone testing in Russia on many occasions over the years. GTRE is now ready with the engine and it's eagerly waiting for simulated high altitude tests. Designers working on Kaveri engine explained that simulated tests basically simulate high altitude conditions on the ground. Once Kaveri dry engine clears these simulated high altitude tests, GTRE will position the engine in flying test bed FTB which is a modified Illusion 76 fixed wing 4 engine turbofan aircraft. The Kaveri engine will replace one of the IL-76 4 engines in the FTB. Now as per the initial plan, GTRE has planned to complete all the testing by 2024 to 25 and commence the limited series production by 2025 to 2026. The production agency is likely to be HL. However, India's dependence on Russia for conducting simulated high altitude tests and flying test bed are causing a further delay to the flight test of the Kaveri dry engine. In the midst of ongoing Russia-Ukraine conflict, the simulated high altitude flying test will take longer than what was expected, which was already delayed due to COVID-19 pandemic. For several years now, the RDU has been pushing for the acquisition of an IL-76 aircraft, which will be used purely as an aero engine flight test bed, and I think it is the need of R. A single test bed will cost around $500 million, 
which will include the aircraft with the structural modifications, airworthy certification, pilot training, sensors and testing equipments. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.